in this lecture we are going to deal with 3d line so to do that i've created a 3d line graph page but we are going to keep using our 3d data so the first one is let's come in to the great graph and then go to 3d line so we, we're going to do a 3d trajectory so let's come in let's go back so we can choose like triplet as we already have that's the only option and we've selected these again so we've only selected 1 to 20 so we have our x from row 1 to 20 and hit finish so it gives us instead of the scattered plot in a previous lecture is giving us lines and the customization is just the same you can double click in it and then it brings about the graph properties from the graph properties you can start with a graph change the title change the legend deal with a grid deal with a xy plane in in terms of colors or background colors you can add frame lines and you can also customize the thickness the colors and let's come into okay the rotation as well so you can change in you can change the rotation of this by playing along with these so when you come into symbols there is none but then you can add symbols to it so the same way when we did a scatter we added lines you can come back so you see all the way the scatters scatter we had the option to add lines it means you can also come into you can start with a 3d line but you're gonna add symbols and you can customize the symbols you can come to line and then from line you can also choose how it looks like or you can even go to none which brings you back to scattered so in other ways you can always start with 3d scatter or 3d line and get to the same result it depends on what you choose in the graph properties so the next one will be so let's let's delete this one 3d line and go to 3d waterfall so with this one you can have x y and you can assume many z's or you can also plot many z's so if you want to plot many z's at least two z columns required for mesh and contour x y data are assumed and then you can also go in for x y and many z so with this one we can go in for let's say y1 and then let's go in for y2 and hit finish so this kind of plot your 2d in 3d space and you can always customize it as we've already shown so you can come in and then you can change let's say the legend the grid the plane the frame lines the rotation so you can change how it is rotated in 3d so let's change it a little bit and yeah you can play along with this and change it nicely and you can also play along with the plot as we've done in the previous two lectures <laughs> 